Today's lesson objective 3.5a says to represent one and two step problems involving addition and subtraction of whole numbers to 1000 using pictorial models, number lines, and equations. So let's start by looking at a pictorial model. We're going to use base 10 blocks to represent this. Um, it says there are 249 large dogs and there are 136 more small dogs than large dogs signed up to compete. How many small dogs are signed up to compete in the dog show? So we're trying to figure out how many small dogs are in this dog show. So, so we start with the number of large dogs we have and it tells us there's 136 more small dogs than large dogs. So that means we need to increase our number by 136. And so whatever that equals will be our number of small dogs. Now, base 10 blocks, remember with base 10 blocks you have three pieces. You have your small unit blocks that represent ones, your long skinny rods that represent 10, and then you have your flats that represent 100. Okay, so we're going to quickly model this problem. We're going to start by making two flats for our 200. We're going to make four tens, which will be four longs, to represent our 40. Okay, and then finally we're going to represent nine small squares to make our nine ones. And so this creates the number 249. Now, since we're adding, we're going to actually add the next number, 136, directly underneath it. So we're going to start with the 1, which will require 1 flat. We're going to make the 3, which is going to be 3 longs for 30. And finally we're going to make the 6, which is 6 of our little unit blocks. Because that's our 6 ones. Now again, since this is ad addition, we are adding these pieces to the original pieces. So the total of our pieces represents our answer, right? So we have a total of three flats. We also now have a total of seven longs. And finally, we have a total of 15 of our little unit blocks. Okay. All right. So our final answer has a little bit of a problem with it because in any place value, whether you're looking at ones, tens, or hundreds, you really can't have more than nine in that place value. Anything over nine has to be carried over to the next place value to its left. So when you look at the ones, there was 15 of these ones. Obviously that's more than nine, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take 10 of these ones. So I'm going to kind of group them together here. We're going to take 10 of these ones and we're literally just going to move them over to the tens place by adding another long to replace them. So these are now gone because we've now replaced them with a long. We've moved them over here to the tens. So now we only have five left. That's less than nine. We're good to go. In the tens, we only have eight total, so we're okay there. And in the, one, the hundreds, we only had three flats, so we're okay there. So our final answer here would be 385. So it'd be 385 small dogs competing in the dog show. Here's you one more base 10 model. Um, this one says William drove his 18 wheeler 843 miles in two days. Okay, he drove eight, 428 miles on the first day. And the question is how many miles did he drive on the second day? So for this one, you have a total number of miles that he drove over the course of two days. And we know the distance he drove on the first day. We want to remove that from the 843 miles that he drove for the entire weekend. 
so that we can see how many miles were driven on the second day. Okay, so this one is modeled by a subtraction problem. All right, so just like before, using base 10 models, you start by modeling the first number. So our first number here is 843. So our 8 is in the hundreds place. So we're going to draw 8 flats. Okay, and we got a four in the tens place, so we're going to need four longs. I've actually seen people use sticks for longs and dots for the unit cubes, just because they're faster to draw. So if you do that, that's that works well also. So just long, skinny, straight lines for the longs and little dots to represent these little squares, just to make it easier to draw. All right, now here's where things get a little different. Because we're subtracting 428, we don't need to add another 428 of our base 10 blocks. We're actually going to remove 428. So if we're removing 428, you want to start with the ones place. So here we want to remove eight ones. Well, that's a little difficult. There's only three ones here to remove, so I can't take away eight of them. So what that means is I'm going to have to borrow one of these longs that represent 10 units. And we are going to move it over here and make 10 unit blocks out of it. Okay. So we have removed one of our longs and we broke it into pieces, into 10 pieces. Okay. 10 unit pieces. All right. So by doing that, we now have plenty of ones to take away eight ones from. So let's do that. So we're going to literally just scratch out eight of these. So there goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are all gone. So the only thing left are these five ones over here. Now we're supposed to take away two tens. I look at my tens. I've got three of them here. So taking away two of them, no big deal. And then finally, I got four one hundreds to remove. There's plenty of those. No big deal. We'll take away four hundreds. Okay, and so that's it. So we removed 428 from our base 10 blocks. So whatever remains is our answer. So we have four flats, so that's 400, 110, and we have five of the little unit blocks. So that leaves five, 415 miles driven on the second day. Okay. All right, the next model we're using, this is just a pictorial representation of the problem. This is not really a strategy for doing addition or subtraction, but it is a great way to illustrate the problem to help you devise a plan for what to do. So same problem we saw earlier. We got 249 large dogs, 136 more small dogs than large dogs. And the question is how many small dogs are signed up? So we already seen this problem, but I want to look at this in a different way. Let's look at this as two parts that make a whole. So this is going to be our strip, okay? Um, so the whole in this problem is the total number of small dogs, okay? So the entire strip represents the number of small dogs. Now, we don't know how many small dogs there are. That's what we're trying to find. But we do know that part of this number is 249, right? That's our 249 large dogs. And the other part is the 136 because there was 136 more small dogs than there were large dogs. So you have the original 249 for, that represent the large, and then we're going to add another 136 because there's that many more small. So together, they make the total, which is what we're trying to find. So this helps you to visualize, oh, this must be an addition problem. I'm adding the two pieces to get the whole. Okay, now which strategy you use for addition is totally up to you. Uh, we've learned several different ways to do that, but this just helps you to vision the problem. Okay, again, this is the other one we looked at just a moment ago, 843 miles driven on the weekend, 428 miles on the first day, and um, the question is how many miles on the second day. Okay, so for this strip diagram, you got to think about it a little bit. You drove 843 miles total for the weekend. So that should be our total number for our strip. Okay? 
because that this strip represents the number of miles driven for the entire weekend. Now, that weekend's made up of two days, right? We have the first day, which was the 428 miles, and we have the second day, which is our mystery. All right, that's our what we're trying to find. Okay, so by setting it up this way, it helps us to see that this must be a subtraction problem because we're trying to figure out what number plus 428 equals 843. Well, the easiest way to find out what that number is is by subtracting the 428 from the 843 and seeing what's left. Okay, so this is again, we're using a strip diagram to model the problem to help us see or come up with a plan of how to solve that problem. Now, what strategy you use to subtract, that's up to you, okay? Any of the strategies we've learned before would work. All right, next we're going to look at using number lines. Now, I personally like using the open number lines to do my addition and subtraction um, because it's nice, quick, easy visual to get to the final answer. So this first one represents the problem, Ricardo counts the cars that drove past his house one weekend. He counted 43 cars on Saturday, 49 cars on Sunday. And so the question says, how many cars... Did he count for the entire weekend? Okay, so again, it's a part part. We're trying to find the whole. So that's an addition problem, right? So this is the equation that models our problem. 43 cars plus 49 equals what number? Now, how we go about finding that, this number line will help us to do that. So I'm going to start with my leading number here, 43. And I'm going to add 49 to that. But I'm not going to do it all in one giant jump. I'm not going to jump 49 spaces. That's hard to kind of figure out, right? But if I break that 49 into smaller parts, it all of a sudden becomes a lot easier. So first, let's think, okay, well, let's get to an easy number. So 43 to 50, how far is that? Well, that's 7. So let's add 7 to get to 50, because that's a nice, pretty number. Well, now I've used 7 out of my 49. So that leaves me 42 remaining. So out of my 42, I'm going to jump 40, because 40 is easy to add to 50, right? So 40 plus 50 takes me to 90. Well, I had 42 left, so that still means there's still two more to go. So from my 90, I'm going to jump my two more. And so I can see my final answer is 92 cars. Okay? Here's another way to do that same problem. Here's the original 43 that we started with. Now, this time, instead of breaking apart the 49, I'm going to say, well, 49 is almost 50. And I can add 50 real easy to 43, right? 50 plus 43 is 93. So I'm going to jump a distance of 50. But the problem is I only had 49 cars, so I can't go the full 50. So I need to actually back up one because I've gone one past what I really have. So I subtract one from that, and I can see that my total is 92. Okay? Um, here's another way to do it. This is using that commutative property where we switch the order of the numbers. So we're going to do the 49 first instead of doing the 43 first. And then we're going to treat the 43 just like we did earlier with the 49 we're going to break it apart into smaller chunks to make our jumps. So I'm almost to 50. Let's just add 1 and get to 50. That's easy, right? Now I've used 1 out of my 43, so that's still at least 42 to go. So let's use 40 more of those to go from 50 to 90. And that still leaves me 2 left to go, so I'm going to go 2 more. And so again, I get my 92. Okay? Uh, last one, you've got 49 again we're starting with. And this time, I broke it into just the 40 and a 3. Because I thought, well, 40 is not hard to add to 49. That just takes me to 89. And then I can just count up 3 more if I need to. So 90, 91, 92. Okay? So no matter which way you do this problem, no matter how you break up your two add-ins together, um, you still wind up in the same place on the open number line. Okay, real quick. Here's a subtraction problem. You have 81 pencils. Of those, 25 are plain, and the rest are special. And so the question is, how many specials do we have? So that's a subtraction problem. You have the total, you're taking away a part, and you want to see what's left. Okay, so here's our equation. 81 minus 25 equals how many special pencils? Now, you do this the same way. Uh, there's multiple ways to represent this problem. I could start at 81, just take away 20, get to 61, then take away 5 more to get to 56. Or I could start at 81 and just take away 1 to get to 80, and then go my 20, and then I still have 4 left, so I just go 4 more. So you're trying to get it to easier numbers. You're just trying to break apart the 25 to make the numbers easier, make the jumps simpler. Okay? Um, here's another way. This time you're starting at 25, and you're going to count up to 80. And however much it takes you to count up, that's your missing number. Okay? So they did it in small jumps. 
And the same thing here, you see the same thing. They're uh, starting 25, counting up. 